the greatest species diversity is found in the tropical moist forests of the world, and bird species are an example of this, with high concentrations of birds in the Amazon, tropical Africa, Southeast Asia. The greatest number of threatened species, however, is where geographical small ranges collide with excessive deforestation. A good example of this is the coastal forests of Brazil. We can map out in some considerable detail where those species are likely to live. This particular image uh, plots the remaining forest against elevation and color codes the image by how many threatened species remain in these places. All of these images are courtesy of my colleague Clinton Jenkins. If we want to understand why there are so many threatened species here, one can look at the remote sensing. This is a landscape that is extraordinarily fragmented. These patches of forest, tiny and isolated, contain the largest number of threatened species in the Americas. The obvious question is what we can do about this. When faced with these images, I felt that everything we know about the loss of biodiversity from fragments suggests that the most effective conservation action would be to reconnect those fragments. As we close in on this image, the quality of the grazing land here is all too obvious. You can see the brown lateritic soils shining through. This is extremely bad land. Bad land, of course, means that it's cheap to purchase. It can grow carbon cheaper than it can grow cattle. The need to reconnect these patches is not just limited to birds. The area on the right is Hebio Yunial, a nature reserve, and it's the home to the golden lion tamarin, a charismatic little monkey um, that has been rescued from the very brink of extinction. The tamarins want to go forth and multiply, and to do that they have to cross this gap. And what you're seeing now is how this gap has changed in the years since my group, Saving Species, purchased the land. You can see that that gap is becoming greener. In this image, it's quite clearly a lot greener than it was historically. And that's because we have removed the cattle from this area. We've planted trees, we've restored the land, and the forest is beginning to come back. So who is the we? My organization, SavingSpecies.org, raised the money. We gave that money to a Brazilian NGO, the Golden Lion Tamarin Association, who bought the land and then handed that land over to the Instituto Chica Mendes, essentially the Brazilian Park Service. The Tamarin Association is also doing these plantings, so you can see the forest coming back at really quite a, a remarkable rate.